hello guys welcome to dtwg the prep welcome okay so in today's video i'm going to be taking questions on um, inequalities that involves fractions okay inequalities with fractions and here you can see we have six questions we're going to solve here together okay and um, i'm sure that by god's grace um, when we finish solving all these questions when you encounter any question um, or regarding fractions with inequality in your exam I know you're gonna get it right okay by God's grace okay so I'm just stay tuned with me okay to the end of this video we're gonna solve all the six questions together all right regarding inequalities with fractions so let me just draw this line here so we take each one at a go here okay and um, please if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe to our YouTube channel please please subscribe to DT WG the prep okay support us to grow all right and also you can check our website for other resources for your science um, science um, social science resources okay notes um, text given the explaining each topic you you'll get them on this site here and if you want to join our Facebook group you know for other resources and motivation asking your questions regarding GED all right you can join our Facebook group I'll leave the link um, in the video description box of this video okay so let's um, quickly get on to and also please share 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 please help this channel grow share this video with everyone in maybe your class or in your community preparing for the GED math test okay it's absolutely free here all right so uh, the first question says this okay well this is one over four into parentheses x minus three less than remember inequality this is less than while this is what's greater than and when you have less than and a sign here this is less than or equal to while this is greater than or equal to just like you know your two elbows okay where your left is less than and your right is what's greater than okay so we have here one over four so this one over four in parentheses um, x minus three also means this so we're solving one here also means this x minus 3 over 4 okay because you know this is 1 1 times everything in this parenthesis is still x minus 3 and you have this is over 4 so over a denominator so it's the same as this okay and this also means the same as what x over 3 okay 1 times x then over 3 so from here it is easy for us to solve this we can take two steps we can either cross multiply or we cancel out the, the denominator using um, the LCM, the least common uh, multiple of what? 4 and 3, which is 12. Okay? So, uh, for here, it's quite, it's quite easy. We can just cross multiply. Cross multiply means you take 3, multiply, uh, 3 would multiply this side and 4 will multiply what? X. That's what it means by cross multiplying. Don't forget your um, less than sign. Okay? So, we have here... 3 in parentheses x minus 3 less than 4 in parentheses x. So we open up the bracket here. I hope you know how to remove this bracket. To do this, 3 will multiply everything here. So we have 3 times x, which is what? 3x. And 3 times minus 3, which will give us what? A minus, a negative what? 9 less than, this is 4 times x, which is what? 4x. I always tell students I tutor, yes, by the way, I tutor uh, private tutoring one-on-one, -on -one. okay, tutoring. So if you're interested, you can also, I'll leave my mail in the video description box, okay, and you can also uh, get me on the Facebook group and, you know, chat me up and we'll take it from there, okay? So I always uh, tell uh, uh, my students I tutor that, please, when it involves inequality, always make sure you bring your variable, the, the numbers with the variables, to your left hand side don't take it to your right hand side okay always make sure you take it here all right so we take our 4x here and bring our negative 9 here taking remember taking one particular value from one point um for the place from one place of the equation to another the sign will change so here this is a positive 4x taking it this way it will become a negative what 4x so we have 3x Taking uh, positive 4 here, we have a negative 4x less than, taking this negative 9 to this uh, side, that's the numbers. You know what we're doing here, sorry, is collecting like terms. 
all right so 4x and 3x they are both like terms all right and 9 is just a constant we we'll take it to our right hand side so minus 9 over to this side will become a positive what 9 don't forget to change your signs to the opposite sign when you're switching taking it over to um, another part of the the equation okay so 3x minus 4x that will give us a negative what x then less than 9 we can leave our answers like this okay because we have a negative here and when we have a negative here is, is as if we have an invisible one here okay so because we have to cancel this negative from x all right because x we're looking for x so x can't be negative it has to be it has to have, um the negative has to fall on the number itself the, the other number okay so it's as if you have an invisible one here so we divide by a negative one divide by a negative one remember in inequalities when you divide by a negative your inequality sign would change to the opposite one so we have a less than here immediately please just change it switch it to what a greater than don't forget this step okay once once you know you're divided by negative immediately as i advise students that to talk change it immediately if not you might forget all right please change immediately okay if not you might forget and if you don't do that you'll find that the answer is in the option okay so and it's just a just a slight mistake you made and you would miss that question so immediately you just put your minus one before you drop down your x change your um, inequality side to the opposite one so this minus one will cancel out this minus one so we have x and 9 divided by minus 1 will give us what a negative what 9 all right if you're having troubles understanding sign numbers okay um you know the addition subtraction multiplication and division of signed numbers please i'm also going to leave the link to a video uh, to a video that would help you to understand it okay so this is our answer for the first question here x is what greater than minus 9 okay let's clean this up and go to our next question now okay the second one says this so this is half into parentheses this okay so it's the same thing as what 3x minus 2 over 2 is what's less than or equal to x plus 4 over 3. here i will still take um, the easiest route just cross multiply okay you don't need to or let me let me use another method here let us um, cancel out with the LCM. So the least common multiple of 2 and 3. So we can cancel out our denominator. Okay. Um, when you were dealing with anything in fractions, when it involves other equations and inequalities, and you have fractions, the first step to take is to cancel out your denominator so you can easily solve for x. Okay. That's the first step. All right. So and there are several ways to cancel out your denominator all right after uh, for the first one i did with cross multiply for this we're going to apply the least common multiple so we ask what's the least common multiple of two and three it is six so you multiply everything by six so this we multiply by six so it will be six times uh six times all this this also will be six times all this okay so from here, 2 would cancel out, okay, 2 here, 1, and 2 in 6 will go how many times? 3 times, and 3 here, 1, and 3 in 6 will go how many times? 2 times, okay? So we're left with, what, 3 in parentheses, 3x minus 2. You can see we've cancelled out all the, the denominator, less than or equal to 2 in parentheses, x plus 4, okay? So from here, we have 3 times this, that would give us, what, 9x. And 3 times negative 2, we have a negative 6 less than or equal to 2 times x, that will be a 2x. And 2 times 4, positive 4, we have a positive 8. So we collect like terms now. So 2x will come here and 6 minus 6 would come here. So we have 9x. Taking a positive 2x to this side, we have a negative 2x less than or equal to, we have left here positive 8. Taking a negative 6 to this side, it becomes what? A positive 6. So here we have 9 minus 2, which will give us 7x less than or equal to 6, uh, 8 plus 6 will give us what? 14. 
So here to get x, what do we do? We divide both sides by 7. 7 will cancel out here, x, and 14 divided by 7 is what 2. Okay, so our sign will still remain the same because we divided by just a positive what number. So your sign would not change. Okay, so 14 divided by 7 is what 2. So this is our answer. x is what? Less than or equal to 2. Let's quickly go to the third one. Okay, the third one says... Uh, 1 over 3x plus 1 over 4 less than 3x over 8. Okay, how do we do this? Okay, here I would always advise you can't easily just cross multiply here. You can see because we have three fractions. So the best thing to do is least common multiple. So what's the least common multiple of 3, 4, and 8? Okay, it is 24. All right. The least common multiple of 3, 4, and 8 is 24, all right? So we multiply everything here by 24. So we have 24 times 1 over 3x plus 24 times 1 over 4 less than 24 times 3x over 8. So 3 would cancel out here as 1, and 3 in 24 is what 8. And we have 8 times this x here, so it gives us, we're left here with 8x, then drop your plus. 4 here, 1, and 4 in 24 will go how many times? 6 times. So we have 6 times 1, still gives us 6, less than. 8 here, 1, and 8 in 24 will go how many times? 3 times. And 3 times 3x, that would give us what? 9x. Now let's, let's collect like terms. So we have here 9x here and bring 6 plus 6 here. So we have here 9x, a positive 9x coming here becomes a negative 9x less than in a positive 6 going to this side becomes a negative 6. Now what is 8x minus 9x? That will give us a negative what? x less than negative 6. So here we have to divide both sides. There's an invisible one here. We have to be divide both sides by a negative 1. So we divide by a negative 1, divide by a negative 1. Remember, dividing by a negative, your sign will change. So immediately change to greater than the opposite sign. So this cancel out, we have x here. And this sign will cancel out this sign down here. And we have what? 6. Okay? So our answer for this is x is what? Greater than 6. Okay? As I said, I know I know um, students, my students, uh, students at tutor get confused. Why would the negative cancel? It's also a rule in signed numbers, which you have to really, really understand. Is the foundation of algebra, okay? Signed numbers, addition, subtraction, and uh, multiplication and division, okay? And if you really, really do need a private tutor for it, please get one. You can contact me. Le once you learn it um, and you are fully understand it, it's easy for you to do take up anything in algebra. Okay? So let's go to our next question. We have three more. Let's speak fast now. Or not too fast. Okay. So the fourth question says three in parentheses two y plus one greater than or equal to 2y minus 9 over 3. Okay? So here, this is quite, it's quite easy. Okay? I can just cross multiply. All right? Cross multiply. So just take 3 up here. Because um, from here, this is like you have an invisible one. This is divided by an invisible one. So you know you cross multiplying. It is both sides. You cross multiply 3 or multiply here. And whatever denominator of the other side would also multiply here. And here, there's an invisible 1 here. So 1 times this still remains as 2y minus 9. So here, we have to do 3 times. So this will be 3 times this 3 here. Okay? Which will give us 9 in parentheses. That's 3 times. You know, we are cross-multiplying. This 3 will multiply this 3 to give us 9. Then we have y plus, plus 1 greater than or equal to. Then what we have left here is what? 2y. This times this is still 2y minus 9. Okay, so let's open up the bracket here. Let's remove the bracket. 9 times 2y, we have 18y. 9 times plus 1, we have plus 9. Greater than or equal to 2y minus 9. 
Now let's collect like terms. 2y to come here plus 9 to go here. So we have 18y. A positive 2y coming here becomes a negative or 2y less than or equal to, sorry, greater than or equal to. We are left here with a negative 9. A positive 9 coming here becomes a negative 9. Now what is 18 minus 2y? 18 minus 2y is what? 16y greater than or equal to what is minus 9 minus uh, minus 9 minus 9 that will give us a negative what 18 you add and the sign will be negative so here to get a y we divide both sides by 16 divide by 16 this would cancel out so y is what greater than or equal to uh, we can reduce this this is 18 over 16 we can reduce uh, what can go here Let's say 2. 2 would go here 9 times and 2 would go here how many times? 8 times. Nothing else can go. Okay, so we're left with minus 9 over 8. And we can't leave this. This is an improper fraction. We have to convert to what? A mixed fraction. Okay, so uh, that would be negative 8 would go in 9 how many times? 1 whole number 1 over 8. So this the answer. Okay, y is greater than or equal to minus 1 whole number 1 over 8. Eight. okay and the sign did not change okay because we divided by positive what number all right so let's go to the fifth one okay stay with me okay so this is the fifth one it says what we have a negative 3 4x minus 8.2 less than negative 11 uh, 0.89 x Plus, let's just quickly convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction. So we have 4. 4 times um, 14, that will give us 56. 56 plus 3, that will give us what? 59 over 4. Okay, so we've converted this. Now you can see this is a fraction. So we have to cancel out this 4. Is that not it? Okay, so to cancel out this 4 here, alright, what do we do? Okay. You know, if, um, for instance, okay, this question we did, okay, where we just had two, you know, two values here, we just cross multiplied. Now here, we couldn't cross multiply because we had several, um, this is a fraction, this is a fraction, this is another fraction. We can't cross multiply, all right, because we have two operations here. This is one whole operation we could cross multiply, okay? Now here, what do we do? We have a value here. We also have a value here. So what to do is, if we want to cancel out this 4, it's just like doing the LCM also. We have here, this is over 1. This is also over 1. So what's the LCM of 1 and 4? The LCM of 1 and 4 is definitely 4. So we multiply everything by 4 so this 4 can cancel out. So we have here, this would be 4 times negative 3 in parentheses 4x minus 8.2 less than this will be 4 times what negative 11.98x plus 4 times 59 over 4 where this would cancel out okay this times this this will give us negative 12 in parentheses 4x minus 8.2 less than this times this what would this give us? This would give us a negative, this is a negative here, a negative 47.92x plus 59. So here, let's open up that's this bracket, let's remove this bracket. So we have minus 12 times uh, 4x, that will give us minus 48x. And minus 12 times minus 8.2, what would that give us? That would give us what? Plus, negative times negative, we're going to have a plus positive. And um, 12 times 8.2 is what? 98.4. So we have this negative 47.92x plus 59. Now we collect like terms. Bring the values with variables of x here and take the constants. That's just the numbers to the other side. So we have negative 48x. Bringing this negative 47.92x to this side becomes what? A positive 47.92x. Less than, we have left here positive 59, okay? 
Taking this positive 98.4 to this side becomes a negative 98.4. Minus 48 plus this will give us a negative what? 0.08x. Okay? Less than 59 minus 98.4 will give us what? A negative what? 39.4. Now, what do we do? We have to divide both sides by a negative 0.08. Divide by negative 0 0.08. Okay, all this you can use your calculator definitely, you know, on your, your on screen calculator. All right, to get all this, uh, you know, values multiplying by these decimal um, numbers. Okay, so we're dividing by a negative number, so definitely our sign will change. So it will become what's greater than. So this would cancel out, this negative will cancel out this negative, and if you punch in your calculator. 39.4 divided by 0 0.08, we are going to get what? A 492.5. So this is our answer. X is what? Greater than 492.5. So this is the answer for question 5. Okay? You can see if you're not careful here, you can, um, you know, you can make a mistake because of all these decimal points and all that. Okay, but the first step to, to you know that would keep you on the right track is trying to what cancel out this fraction here, this denominator here, and it's just by applying your LCM, all right, which the LCM of one and four is four, then multiply four, okay, on uh, multiply uh, multiply everything by four, okay. So this cancels out, and you can see the steps, all right. So, let's go to our final question. And most of all these methods I, I'm, I'm using here for this fraction, you can apply them to equations with fractions. Okay? You can apply them with that. So, here we have this. We have 5x minus 1 over 3 minus 1 minus 2x over 5 less than or equal to 8 plus what x. Okay? So here we have to apply your least common multiple. So what's the least common multiple of 3 and 15? That's your LCM of 3 and uh, sorry, 3 and 5 is 15. So we multiply everything by 15. So this would be times 15, times 15, and times 15. Okay? Well, 3 here, 1. 3 in 15 is 5. So 5 times everything here. So we have 5 in parentheses, 5x minus 1. Then minus, don't forget. 5 here, 1, 5 in 15, 3, so we have 3 in parentheses, 1 minus 2x, less than or equal to, this is 15, okay, in parentheses, 8, 15 times all this, 8 plus what, x, okay, so from here, we have 5 times 5x, that will give us what, 25x, 5 times minus 1, that would give us what, a negative what, 5, here now, okay, this is where, most students do make a mistake. They just say 3 times 1, 3 times negative 2. No, it is a negative 3. When opening up, a, 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 removing this uh, parenthesis, okay, that's opening up the bracket. It's a negative 3 times 1, which will give us a negative 3. A negative 3 times a negative 2x, which will give us what? A positive what? 6x. Less than or equal to here, 15 times 8 will give us 120. 15 times uh, positive x will give us what? Uh, 15 what? x. Okay? So here, let's collect like terms. Okay? So, values of a variable with x come this way, then our numbers are constant the other way. So here we have 25x, okay, plus 6x, then taking 15 here becomes a negative 15x, less than or equal to, we're left with a 120 here. And taking minus 5 here becomes a positive 5. Taking minus 3 here becomes a positive or 3. So here, let's resolve this. This is 25 plus 6x. That will give us 31x. 31x minus uh, 15x. That would give us what? 16x. Okay? A positive 16. Less than or equal to. This is 120 plus 5 plus 3. That's uh, 128. So here, we divide both sides by 16. Divide by 16. This would cancel out. We have x is what well less than or equal to. If you punch in your calculator, 128 divided by 16 would give us what? 8. Okay, so our final answer is what? x is what? Less than 
or equal to 8. Okay, I know this is a long video, but thank you for staying to the end. Okay, and I believe this would help you a lot in achieving your math test. Okay, you always, you are going to see, uh, you know, questions on um, inequalities and some with fractions. Okay, that's what I'm, that's why I'm treating this um, particular topic separately. All right, and giving several examples on how and, and whichever way the question wants to, you know, the format would be, it would be among all these um, examples I've solved here for you. Okay, these practice questions I've solved here for you. So thank you, thank you for staying tuned to DTWG the Prep. See, please, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, share this video to friends, family, and loved ones. And you can check out our website and also the Facebook group for several resources. Also, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last. And also give us a befitting uh, stay here on earth, on, stay here on earth in peace, in love, in joy, prosperity, in good health and lead us to heaven at last in jesus name thank you thank you so much you are destined to win your forthcoming ged math test okay believe it and say it and it will come to pass in jesus name amen okay take care and see you in our next video